we do not act immediately, our life as we know it, perhaps the very existence of the Federation, will end. Starfleet will not be able to assist us in this matter. Oh. There is something not quite right within Starfleet. Then we must find other means. You must assemble a new crew. Quietly. They will be hunted as outcasts and criminals. Yet, they may well be our last chance. It's said if you move but one grain of sand, you run the risk of altering history. the galaxy, they told me. Travel to new worlds. <sighs> Get stuck in the butt end of the universe for the rest of my life. What the? Hey, how, how did you... Where's Kirk? Where can I find him? I... I don't understand. Answer me! Captain Kirk? Of the Enterprise? He died... 12 years ago. No. How? He died... saving the Enterprise... and hundreds of refugees. Saving? Show me. Yeah, it's it, it, it's not like it's it's classified information. It's working. Here, look. He died saving hundreds of people. Billions, billions of people. Entire planets. I don't think there's been a single person who's had the kind of influence. But he wouldn't save me. I didn't wait forty years to be cheated. Captain's personal log, Stardate 6712.4. As head of Starfleet Linguistics, my recent assignments have been most rewarding. So much so, I'm finding it hard to believe it's been 40 years since I was first assigned to the Enterprise under Captain Kirk's command. I should be elated to attend the ceremonies honoring his accomplishments but the memory of his passing 12 years ago 
is still very painful. And it doesn't help that my dear friend Scotty is still missing. Or that Sulu is away in the Gamma Quadrant for the next three years. Or that McCoy and Spock won't be able to break away from their negotiations with the Klingons. All this has made me realize that something is missing in my life. Perhaps though, seeing some old friends and attending the dedication of a very special ship is exactly what I need. Something we all need. Well, as I live and breathe. Nyota, Captain Uhura, welcome aboard. So how do you like our little ship? Well, I must say, Commander Kirk, it's beyond amazing. I agree. It's the perfect tribute to all who served the border, especially Captain Kirk. Thank you so much. Your, your presence here today really honors us. This... This almost makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs> it should. The last time you sat in that seat, you were a kid. <laughs> Captain Chekhov, as our special guest, if you wouldn't mind. Go ahead. You know you want to. Captain Uhura. Oh, thank you, no. I've already put in my time. John, how good to see you again. Looking beautiful as always. Oh, charmer. Hello, Pavel. Oh, sorry. I was just remembering. Hello, Commander. I'm John Harriman. Nice to meet you. So what has it been? Six months since I've seen you last? What can I say? Starfleet security is as full of red tape as any other department. Tell me about it. So what's happening with your promotion? Politics, as usual. It's been so long. I'm thinking of retiring. Was I being obvious? A little. I can't help it. I mean, they're living legends. My uncle told me everything about them. About your uncle? Don't worry. He made his own choices. He lived and died exactly the way he wanted to. I almost left Starfleet over that incident. But Chekhov was aboard the day your uncle died, and he and Uhura convinced me it wouldn't have mattered who was sitting in the captain's chair that day. And since then, we've been the best of friends. Status report. We've received a Code 1 distress signal from an automated security beacon that's orbiting a planet with a designation M622. M622? But that's... A Code 1 distress call and Starfleet's only ship is a museum? A brave man once told me that risk comes with commanding a starship. Helm, lay in a course. Deja vu, all over again. I can't say I've missed this place. Any life signs? We don't need them. 
for those. Charlie? Charlie Evans? The singing lady remembers. You know this man? We encountered him as a 17-year-old, but even then, he had extraordinary mental powers. This is better than I expected. Your captain didn't treat me very well. I looked up to him, but he turned his back on me. He let the Thasians keep me prisoner for 40 years. Alone. Charlie, you took over the ship. He, he should have helped me. Captain Kirk's responsibility was to his ship and crew. Wait. You don't know what that structure can do. Oh, but I do. Earth. What happened? He has passed into what was all that you knew has been altered. Has been altered. The shuttlecraft still refuses to answer our hails, Captain. vessel in our tractor beam. Allow me the pleasure of destroying it. Typical Klingon. Act first, think later. What do we gain by destroying it? They are enemies of the Galactic Order. Captain, intelligence indicates this vessel might be the one we've been searching for. This could be very good for you. Capturing the fox is sure to impress Curate Prime. Man your station. Talk his off. Leave the battle to the men. Koval, you need to be more courteous towards Zela. Why should I? She is a off. Yes, but she's my slave. You need to remember that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Beam them directly to the bridge. Is that wise? Well, if you're afraid. Weapons! Beam them over. Kittrick! I'm so glad you could make it. So at last, the fox has been outfoxed. Odd. I always imagined you'd be shorter. I'm surprised you had the courage to meet me face to face. Oh, if I had my way, you'd be dead already. Terrorists like you. Terrorists? We fight for our freedom. Freedom? What is freedom without security? Nothing. The Galactic Order provides that security. Only through fear and violence. Anyone who trades freedom for security deserves neither. Well, I'm not going to have a philosophical debate with an anarchist. The truth is, you're a traitor. The curate prime demands your head. I'll be the one who gives it to him. We'll see. How fitting that we should capture you today. You will be a witness to the beginning of the end. For all of you. Take them to the brig. Give them a full round of questioning. With pleasure.
children, you must remember, logic is the only way. Combining those techniques with Surak's non-violent confrontation methods. Madam Ahura, do you require assistance? No, but thank you. I am well. Advisor Stone, would it be all right with you if we change the subject of this discussion? By all means. Let us examine the old Vulcan adage, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I propose that that maxim is the most dangerous and misguided belief that I have ever heard. Perhaps we should postpone further discussion until our next session. Madam Ahura, I acknowledge the fact that you and Spock led Vulcan's efforts to secede from the Galactic Order. However, to, to challenge one of our most time-honored precepts is highly illogical. Who decides the needs of the many are more important than the needs of the few? And more importantly, who gave them the right to decide that in the first place? Are you suggesting that the needs of the one outweigh the needs of the many? I'm suggesting that history proves it. It's filled with groups who've decided that their needs were more important than others. The result? Slavery. Genocide. You don't believe me? Just look at the galactic order. was as I feared. I transported the Sable some of the components. Then we'll have to find another way. We will, my friend. We will. Madam Ahura, are you feeling well? Of course. Well, I may be just having a bad dream. But I... I keep seeing images, faces, like I... I almost know them. But they're not quite recognizable. I'm... Perhaps it is the stress from the current state of galactic affairs. Perhaps. You should rest before your meeting with Spock this evening. Oh, my darlings. Oh, how good to see you. My what have wife. you been up to? Oh, husband. Mother. <laughs> Say, Bob, my son, how good to see you. Glad you could come. Talia. Your suggestion worked, Mother. The children have decided to make a list of possible names for their new Selat. Oh, cooperation between the two of you. Now that's what I want to hear. You can be most logical at times. Of course. And most illogical at others. I'll assist the grandchildren. I'll see you shortly. You appear preoccupied. No, it's nothing, son. I'm just a little tired, is all. Would it have anything to do with the ruling council's stand on the Galactic Order? No. It's... Well, you may think me illogical, but I still believe seceding from the Order is not gonna get us anywhere, and it's not gonna end here. They pose little threat. Their technology is considerably outdated and they rely mainly on fear, to which we are not susceptible. 
they may still be using ships that are over 40 years old, but their weaponry is state of the art. And I just heard that they've just created a new weapon Mother, that is capable- Mother, we do not interfere with Curate Prime, so they should not interfere with us. You don't know that. I'm sure the Council knows what it's doing. Your children are waiting. I'll join you shortly. Captain, the Omega device is activated and ready. Approaching the planet. On screen. Captain, our assault forces have completely obliterated their defense fleet. All that remains is the final blow. Not just yet. Hold position at two million kilometers. Two million kilometers. Aye, sir. Yes, a defiant planet about to serve as an example. I thought you might be interested in its fate. Why should I concern myself with Vulcan? They refuse to take a stand. They deserve their fate. One is either an ally or an enemy. And they refuse to be our ally, Captain. Why do you not fire? Remember Kira Prime's orders. He can't afford to incur his wrath. I live to serve. Fire. You see what their neutrality and peaceful ideals got them? None of you feeble little Patak will ever learn. You must dominate! Or be dominated.
Captain, a number of vessels were able to escape. Hunt them down? Mm, no. Let them go. They shall bear witness to what happened here today. Cunning. Soon you'll be feared even more. Now detecting one shuttlecraft among the debris field. One Vulcan, one Terran on board. Vulcans and humans together? Huh. Bring it on board. Aye, sir. Don't get too comfortable, Vulcan. As soon as the captain comes to his senses, you, my friend, will be executed, along with these other traitors. Tuvok, Stan, and the children. Do you think they made it? Do you believe that Stan was able to get a ship? Madame Ahura. There were hundreds of shuttles leaving the planet's surface. Knowing Stan, there is a high probability that he and your family were on one of them. You see, this kind of unprovoked genocide is precisely what we're fighting against. We know who you are. You kill to achieve your own goals. Just like those butchers of the so-called Galactic Order. You're no better, sir. We are nothing like the Order. If we kill, it is to win our freedom. It's empty rhetoric. Killing is killing. And you are... You... You are pathetic. I won't be any party to it. It's always the same. We fight for them, yet they condemn us. Few understand what we do. She's not like the Vulcan. Her emotional state could present a problem. I won't let them interfere. Not with this mission. Heed my words, Vulcan. We are breaking out of here. Keep her calm. Or I will kill you myself. Perhaps there is a way in which I can assist her. I don't care what you do, just do it quickly. You have been my colleague, and my friend. Will you allow me to help you? I grant you access, old friend. What did you see? A ship. Other crewmates. Yes! You're supposed to be helping her, not confusing her with musty old Vulcan rituals. Curious. Locked inside your mind are other memories. Yes. As though you've lived two distinct lifetimes. Yes. That's it. Back on Vulcan. I wasn't sure what it was. But I knew that whatever was happening to me, it was real. Tuvok, it was real. I believe that these memories are important. Yes. But I do not know how or why. I know. Pavel. That is your name, isn't it? How do you know that name? I have images of you, 
and that name is always associated with them. I haven't heard that name in over 20 years. Pavel, hear me. There is something out of sync here. You and I, we have a history together. Listen carefully. I am Kitrik. I am a freedom fighter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Leave me alone. You waste too much time on her. Just concentrate on the problem. Force field frequency, 827 terracycles. Can you disrupt it? Not alone. Can you shift? Only for a short time. <laughs> I'll overpower them. No. That would arouse suspicion. We'll make our way to the bridge and... No. Engineering. Engineering's too big, too many entrances to cover. Auxiliary control would be better. You can access all the ship systems there. How do you know that? I just know. Time. Then let's get moving. What is the meaning of this? Allowing yourselves to be caught off guard? Your weapons. Confine yourself to quarters and report to disciplinary action at 1700 hours. Now! Excellent. I don't know how long I'll be able to hold this form. You pacifists should stay behind. It's going to get ugly. Not nearly as ugly as an execution. Suit yourselves. Commander Garrett, where are you taking these prisoners? They are to be executed immediately. Yes, but we have orders from the captain to question the human and the Vulcan. I just received counter orders from him. But sir, are you questioning me? No, sir, but the captain does not like to be kept waiting. Yes, sir. Commander Garrett. Where is the fourth prisoner? Fourth prisoner? He, uh... Enough of this! Let's go. Turbo then! I thought Vulcans didn't believe in the violence. We do not. However, if we are attacked, we will defend ourselves. Maybe there's hope for you after all. There's going to be a welcoming committee for us on the other side of those doors, you know. You can count on it. Hmm? Can't be that easy. So a human being, damn it. Locking down these controls is more important. Go too far. The prisoners have taken over auxiliary engineering control. One is believed dead. Well, what are you standing there for? Get in there and regain control of my ship. It won't be that easy. 
They've erected a force field around the control room and isolated several key systems. Get them out! I don't care if you have to blast through the bulkheads. Am I clear? Are you finished? Almost. Auto-destruct sequence initiated. What are you doing? What has to be done? What about the mission? I'm changing the mission. Kittrick! You knew this was a one-way trip. Auto-destruct was the last resort. We control the ship, there's still time! Auto-destruct in 45 seconds. Kittrick! Stand down! Override has been disabled. How did he do this? I don't know. Auto-destruct in 30 seconds. Kittrick! What do you want? I want nothing. You wouldn't be threatening to blow up my ship if you didn't want something. Auto-destruct in 15 seconds. What do you want? I want you to die. Auto-destruct in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... What you've done! Yes. Given us a chance to gain freedom for everyone. This was the only way! How does killing all of us relate to freedom? These people must be stopped. They're murderers and butchers. They deserve to die! Tuvok and I are not murderers. We've done nothing to deserve death. And what have you done to deserve life? You hide behind your righteous pacifism while others die fighting for their freedom! Not everyone fights by killing and blowing up starships. I kill when it is necessary. What about peace and not interference? Are they not necessary? I thought so once. Not anymore. Why did it stop? I don't know. I didn't do anything. And what is he up to? See what you've done. This was our only chance to get rid of... them. Kittrick. I followed you all these years because you fought for what was right. If I'm to die, I want to die fighting for that. Tuvok. Tuvok, hold on, old friend. Please. If you were human, It's too close to his heart. There's nothing I can do. What are you doing? It's all right. Keep your mind to yourself, Vulcan. of the many, or the needs of the one. My life, my choice. May you live long and pro Mm. 
May peace be unto you, my friend. Captain, it's no use. They knew what they were doing. Well, then use phasers. I don't care. Get my ship back! Aye, sir. We've taken helm, navigation, and engine control. Set course for Anarchos. Pavel, I know we need to leave, but not for Anarchos. You can't be serious. I know it may not make sense to you, but we need to set course for a planet designated M622. I don't have time for this foolishness. Pavel, please. On that planet, there is a structure that somehow it affects time and space. Now I know you're crazy. Pavel, please. All right, I'll scan for temporal anomalies, but there won't be any. No record of a planet called M622. Wait. Ripples of time displacement in an uncharted system. That's it. Pavel, that's it. Proves nothing. Our very lives depend on it. All right, we'll go. Just leave me alone. Kittrick, if there's something out there that can control time... It would be more powerful than an Omega device. Sir, they've taken us to warp six. Captain, engineering is unable to override their lockouts, and Commander Garen reports no progress from auxiliary control. Move your hands. Get me control of my ship. Good. We've sent a coded message to our forces to rendezvous with us at M622. Pavel? There's something else. Somehow Harriman is connected to all of this. I've heard enough. No. We're going to need him in order to figure out how all of this happened. No. I've been hunting that butcher for 20 years. Why? Because he's part of the Galactic Order? Well, that's not good enough. Because he slaughtered my family. Arena and I, we found our paradise. We found our new Eden. We had a son, Pyotr. We were happy. And then, Harriman came, and I lost everything. My wife, my son, and no Vulcan mind trick is going to erase what he did. And you think? It's easier for me. The same thing happened on Vulcan to my family. My entire family. Yet I know we need him. We need Harriman. I know it.
Captain, I've just received word Curate Prime's fleet has been tracking us and is on an intercept course. I don't have to tell any of you what will happen if he arrives and finds we have lost control of our ship. Get everyone down there! Do whatever it takes! Remember, a live fox is better than a dead one. So, he's coming to intercept us. Curate Prime and Harriman in the same place. This is better than I ever thought. But we can't forget how powerful he is. We could get them together. But we've never seen him. What? You've never seen Curate Prime? You don't know who he is? Wait a minute. On the surface, where the structure is, there was a man like that. He could control you with his mind. I wonder if he had anything to do with what happened to us. Kittrick? Hasn't this gone on long enough? It's only a matter of time. Let's end this now and save everyone a lot of trouble and I promise you won't suffer. Remember, we need him. So, Captain Harriman, do you really think that I'll just walk out of here and let your men execute me? No, no, of course I don't, but you can make it easier on the others. They are all dead. I have a better idea. Why don't you come down here and kill me yourself? Lower the force field. I'll be there in five minutes. I've waited long enough. Make it four. It's probably a trap. No, really? Wait at the junction, and then as soon as the doors open... We will not fail you. But don't kill him. Offering him as a gift to the Curate Prime is our only way out of this mess. Immediately. Stand ready. If we're successful, Koval will be taking orders from me. I assume you're monitoring the corridor? As you can see, I'm alone and unarmed. Very well. Lowering the force field. Impressive. Where'd you learn that? Do you think you're the only one who had friends on Vulcan? Sorry, something just hit us. I know. It was Ragnar. And thanks to your incompetence, I was forced to vaporize him myself. Still no control? What do you think? Now get back to the bridge and keep working on those overrides. Yes, sir. <laughs> me. Pavel, enough! Very well. What do we do now? Sir, the ship has entered standard orbits. Helm. Um, still no control from here. 
We're making progress, but it'll still be a few minutes. just beamed to the surface. The prisoners? Someone had to help them. Harriman? Computer! Locate Captain Harriman! Captain Harriman is not aboard the ship. Transporter room, report! Transporter room! You said this device had immense powers. It does. I don't know why it's not working now. It only answers to me. Please. You don't need that. I didn't expect to see you three again. Oh, you wouldn't remember. I can't erase your current memories, but... Ahura. Chekhov. John. How did you know? I... I just knew. Without knowing. This is very strange. I remember you as a friend, but you still feel like an enemy. We all must put those negative feelings behind us. It won't be that easy. We have to. Charlie, when you went through the Guardian, you... My hatred of Kirk consumed me. Why couldn't he help one lonely 17-year-old? And then he died before I could confront him. Charlie, what did you do? I used the Guardian to kill Kirk's mother before he was born. Who the hell do you think you are, playing God? I was wrong. I know that now. But I've changed. I've evolved. It doesn't help those hundreds of billions who are left to suffer under the order. Could one man's absence cause all of this change? It's possible. One pivotal change, 70 years ago. Charlie, we have to set things right. That's impossible. Any attempt to alter the timeline would only... <laughs> Traitors, Patak! Kovar, you bastard! Silence! This time there will be no cell. Execute them! Immediately! Garen, delay the execution. Urgent message incoming. Put it on. Curate Prime, we live to serve. It's Gary Mitchell. Ah, there you are, Kittrick. The ever-present thorn in my side. Before you die, I wanted to personally inform you that your home base of Anarchos been destroyed. Garen, shouldn't you be on the bridge? Kill them slowly, and get to your stations. Good to 
see you're still with us. You've probably forgotten an insignificant little planet called New Eden. I haven't. My family was there. I thought I was doing my duty. Firing torpedoes from the bridge is so easy. You never see the faces. Was I wrong? Was I too busy playing the rebel? I should have been there with them. Pavel Chekhov died that day. Incoming message. On screen. I am Captain Galt of the Freedom Ship Liberty. We know you have our comrade Ketrick. Return him or we will destroy your ship. Surrender to me or I will execute him. And he will die a hero. Oh, he will die. But not a hero. Battle stations! <laughs> it comes, you fools! Miss again, and I'll tear your throats out! Five, two, three, mark, nine, zero. Five, two, three, mark, nine, zero. Aye. Attack, Captain, call out! Kevlar! Now, destroy the rest of them. fleet has arrived. Good. So you will see the traitors taste defeat. Why don't you two try to get back to the transporter room? Maybe the arrival of the curate's forces might help Charlie to listen to reason. But what about you? This is my ship. I know it better than anyone. I'll do what I can to even the odds. I won't be much help on the surface. I'll stay here. He's gonna need all the help he can get. Good luck. Alter course to 509 Mark 9-4. Arm aft photons. Stand ready. Koval, incoming message. Fury Prime. I live to serve. Kovo, my angry young warrior. You have the terrorist Kittrick. Yes, he has been executed. Really? Then why do I still sense his presence on your ship? I'll see to it personally. 
finish this battle. Gary Mitchell is Curate Prime. Wasn't he Kirk's friend? Yes, his encounter with the Great Barrier gave him godlike powers. But in this timeline, Kirk wasn't there to stop him. And he was able to crush the Federation and forge the Galactic Order. Which he sadistically ruled over for 40 years. Hurry, Pavel. We're out of time. Leota, I'm honored to know you. In both lifetimes. Pavel! I feel the same way. But now is not the time, come on! Oh no! Below. An insignificant uncharted world, my lord. Curate Prime. Someone has beamed to the surface from the Conqueror. Kendrick. Charlie! Where is Kittrick? Kittrick? I don't know it. <laughs> You're a fool to protect him. Tell me where he is. Give me one reason I shouldn't kill you where you stand. I can't. But there must be one or you would have done it by now. Curate Prime learns I've killed this traitor, then I'll become the new captain of this vessel. You will be my slave. What is this? Captain? It's me. But... That was Kittrick's friend. He died fighting for something I've been too blind to see. What now? Come on. Tell me where he is. <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> She's going to tell me where Kittrick is. What moral right? <laughs> Morals are for men, not for gods. And you are neither. If you were a god, you would have already destroyed me. to see you. 
I thought I'd have a phaser and not vaporize you with it. Now we're fighting side by side with the enemy? Yes, I'll explain later. Forces know we control the bridge. Heatrek is still with us. Regroup. Attack Haran Gamma. Romulan ship. A27, Mark 60. Got it. Nice shooting. Nice fly. We better end this now. Blue Squadron, keep those ships off the Conqueror's tail. Either on that planet or on that ship. Destroy them both!
Shields and warp drive are down. Maneuvering thrusters are damaged, but we can move a little. Something's powering up on the destroyer. An Omega device. Mitchell. He's going to destroy the Guardian. Torpedo tubes empty. Phasers damaged beyond control. Then what do we do? There's only one thing left. Right. Six, two, one, mark, five, eight. I've got about a quarter impulse. Will we be in time? Barely. Charlie? Charlie? Oh, Charlie. Guardian! You must hear me! Omega will launch in one minute, 30 seconds. I don't think we're going to make it. Helm control is gone. The attitude along the Y-axis is drifting. I'm going to miss her. Damn it! Where is Scotty when you need him? That'll never work. Freedom favors the bold. You're crazy, you know? Took you this long to figure that out. Omega, we'll launch in 60 seconds. Charlie, we're almost out of time. You know what you must do. I can't. I, I, I can't do it. It's too risky. Yes, you can, Charlie. Yes, you can. You altered billions of lives. Only you can change it. You can do it. Remember? Remember, Charlie, when we first met? Charlie is my darling, my darling, my darling. Charlie is my darling. Oh, Charlie, you can do it. You must. You're right. Every being should be free to pursue their own destiny without interference. Yes, Charlie. Yes. Destroy them! Weapons are down. Move us away! Navigation not responding.
She knows, Charlie. She knows. Where's Kirk? Where can I find him? What happened? Charlie was successful. Let's get the hell out of here. Enterprise, ready to beam up. Personal log, Stardate 7615.1. It doesn't seem like a year has passed since we restored our normal timeline. As I conclude my last entry as captain, my thoughts are not on that single grain of sand we might disturb accidentally but on the fact that we are endowed with free will and can choose ideas that can either lead to deadly consequences or to joyous rewards. So truly, our destiny lies not in the stars, but within ourselves. By the laws and customs of the Vulcan and Terran people, I now pronounce thee husband and wife. Now thou mayest join minds. Most illogical. Get used to it, baby. <laughs> oh, Stan. My wife? Thank you, husband. Well, first an appointment as Federation Ambassador to Vulcan, and now this. I am impressed. I'm impressed, too. Pretty fancy. And nobody deserves it more than you. It's going to take some getting used to. I've uh, never outranked everyone in the room before. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stan. It seemed like the logical thing to do. I'm very happy for you. We both are. Thank you very much. And speaking of impressed, this is a new look for you. Oh. I'm taking a leave of absence to run for Federation Council. Oh? Somebody has to keep an eye on those politicians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Janice! Hi! Oh, you know, a Vulcan wedding doesn't require a gift. Well, actually, this is for Pavel, for making Admiral. Oh, a tribo. Oh. oh, don't worry, this one is neutered. Oh. <laughs> Here's to 40 years of high adventure. Here's to the next 40. Well, it's... Spock is so fond of saying, there is always possibility. <laughs> wow. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life 
and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. DC 9, 87 seats, and <laughs> stewardess. No, pilot. <laughs> Is it one of those planes that drops the water? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh. Pavel. <laughs> you, you little merry character, you. <laughs> Have you become invisible again? <laughs> Koval, you need to be more turd. <laughs> Dirty. Ah, <laughs> uh, they gotta get the f out of here. Turgid? Turgid. 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 <laughs> me! Sorry guys. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Right there. I'm excited. One without sweat. Yeah, let's try one without sweat. <laughs> yeah, the sweat works actually. Good, good, Jesus. I wonder what my next line is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, I forgot to take my foot off the clutch. You need a cigarette now? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, hey. I love you too, camera. Oh, where are you going? Don't run away from me. I know you want it. Come on, you bitch. <laughs> I still remember when you're shooting behind Harriman on the transporter set and JG comes up. <laughs> 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 What can I say? Except that's all right. <laughs> <laughs>